They have taken the sky and bound it. That's my line. It's the opening line of Hell's Gate, the sequel to The Honey Guide. And it's also a line that reverberates throughout the book. It's echoed on numerous occasions. And I've checked, it still goes towards the word count. Um, it's based on an old Maasai prophecy. Uh, those of you who have come across The Honey Guide will know that my hero, Malel, is a Maasai warrior turned detective. And he really sums up the dichotomy which is so present in African life. I'm a newcomer to Nairobi. I've lived there eight years. I love Nairobi. It's my home. It's the place where I belong. But uh, in many ways, everyone in Nairobi is a newcomer. It's a city which is changing and developing all the time. And even Malel is a newcomer there. So he's an outsider and an insider. And as a crime writer, it's such a gift to be in a place like this. In this city of 12 million people, there is no forensic laboratory, which means no deus ex machina endings, where we pick up a hair from the floor and suddenly there's a DNA match. It's back to basics detecting. It's based on psychology and legwork, and that's what all the best crime fiction is about. So, this Maasai prophecy. They have taken the sky and bound it. The Maasai prophecy says, when they have fenced off our land, when they have dammed our streams and shot our animals, they will take the sky and bind it. And we open the book with Malel inside a chain link ceilinged prison cell. I went to these prison cells. I researched these scenarios intimately. And Malel seems to have gone on a voyage to his own personal Hell's Gate. Because in an environment where justice usually goes to the highest bidder. People have started to take justice into their own hands. And Malel, who is previously seen as an incorruptible police officer, seems to be part of an extrajudicial death squad. I won't tell you any more, but uh, I will point out that there are some pretty hefty themes in this book, including environmental degradation and the treatment of women and globalization. But don't worry. The plot is enough so much that you will forget those themes are even there. Uh, it's a dynamic, original crime novel, which I hope will be one step further towards placing Africa firmly on the frontier of noir. So, ladies and gentlemen, Hell's Gate, May 2014, in all great bookshops. Thank you very much.